A popular Minneapolis restaurant closed this weekend after a stomach turning discovery went viral. This video shows what appears to be a rodent in a bin of rice at Stella's Fish Cafe in Uptown. WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell spoke with the woman who recorded it and has more on how the business is responding. It's the last thing you want to see inside a restaurant. Oh my God! It was a huge rat. It was a really thick, huge rat. Like the rat was thicker than me. Like it was big. Like tearing the food down. Like I'm talking about Buki was eating the food up. Relasia Wright says she captured the rodent on camera around 2 a.m. Saturday as she and her friends were walking by Stella's Fish Cafe after bar close. No paying customers, but the mouse was. After the video went viral, a city spokesperson said the restaurant closed on Saturday for an emergency pest management visit. During that visit, the city says a health inspector found signs of mice, including droppings and a dead mouse in a trap. The restaurant says it voluntarily closed to allow its sanitation and pest control company to remedy the situation. They asked for an additional health inspection, which was completed Sunday morning. My initial response was disgust. Disappointing. Glad they're controlling it. Gloria and Bill were hoping to grab lunch, only to see Stella's was still closed. I've been to places where I've upset. You have lots of flies and it's brushed over. So it's good to see that they take health very seriously. Stella says it's still exploring the validity of the video, adding the business always passed health inspections, the last one within the past 60 days. I live right up the street, so I come, they chicken good, don't get me wrong, but now I'm just, you know, I don't know. Will you guys be back? Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. I hope they open soon. In Minneapolis, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. The city noted as the weather turns colder, mice are more actively looking for entrances to the indoors. Stella said cleanliness and customer safety have always been at the forefront of its business, and they will only reopen once all the concerns are addressed.